Oh, man. You cannot make this shit up. You just can't make it up. Let's get into this. <laughs> it's Black Hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up and what is good with y'all? We're back in communication today. We'll reveal that to you down the line here momentarily. For now, this is redemption, okay? This is redemption for Natalie's video, the, the, the pizza video, the pizza and the wings. You know, I just jibber jabbered about my life and alcohol and all that, going to the hospital, and the pizza kind of sucked, the wings kind of sucked. It wasn't really a good eating video. So I was just laying in bed today in uh, mid-afternoon. I'm trying to correct my sleep schedule. It's really backwards right now. Um, and I was like, I should redeem that video. I'm hungry. I've been wanting Pizza Hut since that video because I was like, I should have got Pizza Hut, right? And uh, I was like, let me let me go ahead and redeem that video. And we'll have just a lighthearted, chill, we'll not get too deep into more testimony, even though I do have another chunk that I need to put in my next video. But uh, we'll just have a classic pizza pie. We'll redeem that video. And here we are. <laughs> but... The universe had other plans. God. So, <laughs> I got the my box, and I got double cheese, double pepperoni, and honey garlic bites. So I'm gonna get this out, and we'll get to eating. All right, so we got our pie out, we got our five honey garlic bites here, and we have, well, you already know what I have, and we'll talk about that momentarily, because it's part of the little story here. <laughs> All right, so let's get a bite. And then we'll just, we'll just talk about it. Talk about it. Also, by the way, I'm feeling a lot better. It's like we're coming around to almost three weeks here. And like day by day, my mental acuity, everything is coming back to equilibrium, we'll call it. Okay, let's get a bite of this ooey gooey cheesy goodness that should have been the one from the start in the first place. They put the pepperoni under the cheese today, which is interesting. Okay. A bite, a nice bite, with a tendril hanging, a ranchy, runny ranchy tendril. The best. The ultimate pizza. My fave. Redemption. I did one of these not too long ago, a couple of weeks back, maybe a month, probably about a, about a month by now. And uh, I will say that uh, it's just a good deal. It's a person. It's a perfect amount of food for one person. And it comes out to like it's ten or it's ten bucks. Comes out to like sixteen after taxes and everything. Twenty one bucks with a five dollar tip on there. And today was my favorite guy. My, one of my favorite delivery guys. But so yeah, I'm chilling today. I'm like, I should really redeem that video for Natalie. I'm craving Pizza Hut ever since. I'm like, I just need it, right? I really want it ever since that fail. I talked about everything, but I talked about the numbers, the stocking numbers, the repeating numbers. <laughs> but anyways, I'm laying on my bed. I, I do up the order. I do the double pepperoni, the add cheese. I have it laid out in front of me, and I'm kind of just debating. I'm like, when am I going to order this? Because 
maybe a little later, maybe in the next bit, but I had it one button away from clicking to place the order. I watched like 10 more minutes of the podcast that I was watching and I decided I'm just going to get it now. So pick up my laptop, come into my little studio space here, put the laptop down. I load up my camera with the card and the battery, turn it on, flick the lights, get things situated. Cause I'm like OCD about getting this ready before I place orders and stuff, just so everything's ready to go for when it comes. <laughs> I click order, pick up my laptop, don't even look at it. Walk back to my bed, drop the laptop on my bed, go to the fridge, pull out ranch and the brine liquid to make my runny ranch. Go make runny ranch, whip it up real quick, which I'm about to dip a Honey G boneless bite into. Make the running ranch, bring it to the studio, put it on the on the cutting board here. <laughs> Walk back to my bed. I have not looked at the order screen yet. Stops me in my tracks. And here's why I'm going to put up the screenshot of the order. You'll see here, I'm going to blur out my address in that cause I don't need stalkers showing up at my house. However, it would be good for you guys to maybe send me stuff besides the point. You can see the order on the, on the side, double pepperoni, but you'll notice the estimated delivery time. Do you see it? Two, two, two. I can't make the shit up. I told you guys. I'm in communication here. The shit is following me. <laughs> Natalie's video, the first one was about the numbers and then they present themselves in this one. I can't fabricate that. There's no way I could have perfectly clicked at a time knowing that it would get me at two, two, two. Like I can't fabricate that. I didn't even notice it till five minutes after I placed the order. Now, somebody in that one video that I made said like, now a ton of you who know about these numbers, you know, what's up people who are ignorant to this stuff. Well, they go, this guy goes, that's one person goes, it's, it's strictly pattern recognition. It's just your brain recognizing number, number patterns. I don't think so. And this is exactly why, because these things happen to me. Literally every day, almost every day. So there it is. another receipt and I didn't even, I wanted to keep this video irrelevant to any of that stuff. Mm. This is killing it. Lights off by the way, my jam. I don't like it too marinara e. So you know, that's it. I do have another chunk of real world two people receipts testimony that I still have to put in my next video about this whole talk about this whole unfolding of these truths of mine.
that'll be the next one. And uh, one of them has to do with that job I started working. Somebody I met there immediately and everything with that, but I don't want to give too, too much away. This is all part of my story, but that's, it's, that's the middle part of the story, but it, it'll cap it all off, basically. This is the last two pieces of uh, evidence, testimony. But uh, I'll probably do that in the next video I'm going to do is I have two subscriber sponsored requests that I have to get to like immediately. They've just been outstanding. And the next one, ironically enough, is supposed to involve vodka sauce. <laughs> Like a tomato, like an Italian tomato sauce, sort of like a tomato, like a, a rosé sauce, sort of, blush. I was going to make it from scratch originally, but given my current reality, uh, out of sight, out of mind, better not to have it in the house, you know? So I bought... Uh, Prefabbed, prepackaged vodka sauce, just in a uh, a branded like jar. You know what I mean? Where the vodka is already cooked off. But uh, JM JMF, yours is coming up next with a little extra testimony in there. And then we're going to Hawaii. Two very awesome, loyal, loving subscribers. So I gotta get to that. And then I have about like five or six other people who came into the inbox that are looking to do requests, but I've just been kind of been telling people like, for right now, I don't want to take on things that I can't promise quickly. So eventually, when I'm back in my role of things, and I get these two out of the way, and then I can take on a new load, I will be getting to those, uh, those people who want to come through. But I don't want to take on a task that I keep people waiting, you know what I mean? Until I'm really back in my flow. Which like I said, you could probably tell in this video, I am coming around. Things are, the PTSD, the trauma, we're getting for, far enough away from it that it's less, it's affecting me less. Been taking a ton of vitamins and minerals for the brain, things that promote dopamine, which I was obviously low on. Ginkgo biloba, ginseng, oil of oregano, uh, cod liver oil, a bunch of other stuff too. I've been loading up on magnesium, vitamin B1. Uh, bunch of stuff. But sleep and 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours, the f just more days that you get, you start to come back to yourself. The brain fog comes and goes. It's still sometimes very bad. Sometimes not so bad. Sometimes it lifts. But there's definitely brain fog on the back end of quitting drinking. I can tell you that.
the boredom. Learning how to just f try to enjoy sober life all of the time, constantly. With no little drunken giggles and stuff, like... That's tough. When shit just feels boring, when you're like, ugh, I'm so bored. Life is so boring. Because when you have some drinks, it's just everything becomes a little more interesting. At least for me. <laughs> Excuse me. But I feel as if, as time rolls, as I get into, like, months of sobriety, I think that'll shift as well. I think my rape, my brain will adapt to like, okay, you can enjoy your reality without having any altered state, right? Like without any chemical <laughs> interventions. I think that will probably come back into uh, alignment as well, right? So things are looking good. This was delicious. That was the pie and the, and the, and the uh, wing wings boneless bites that I needed in the first place and like I told you I can't make this up I can't make th these things up that, that are occurring they're right there it's all the, the receipts are constant it's this proof constantly and I have more to come so anyways shout out Natalie again <laughs> shout out all y'all love you to the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true